Did you know that it's free? It's 100% free for you to subscribe to the channel. So subscribe to the channel, comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. And let's jump right on into this video. Good morning, Fluffy. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel the Big O, and this is the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. Today's video is going to be a lot different than a lot of our other videos that we've ever filmed. Today, I'm going to explain to you what happened yesterday, why we're up this early in the morning, you know, way before eight o'clock in the morning, dressed really nice and getting ready to you know, possibly uh, get accepted into something that's life changing. With that being said, let's really jump right onto it and talk about what happened yesterday and why I look tired. I am really tired, I am exhausted, and yesterday I had a really long day. You see, you see Fluffy, yesterday I was over at my daughter's sporting event and while I was sitting there enjoying her with my other daughter and the fluffy poodle, we were, we were sitting there and uh, smiling, enjoying, enjoying the sporting event to its fullest. I looked over and my phone was just going crazy. I mean, I actually never seen my phone do this before. I mean, flashlights was going off, my screen was going on and off, and I, I just, something's hold me, something's hold me that I needed to grab my phone, grab my phone and uh, really figure out what was going on. So I grabbed my phone and I looked at it. I looked right at my phone and I, uh, it said, a crash has been detected in your wife's vehicle and my heart just sunk immediately I called my wife I called my wife and uh, she actually answered and she said I got in a really bad car accident um, the ambulance is right in front of me I gotta go I'm alive and I'm okay here's my location I proceeded to hang up the phone, looked right at my youngest daughter who was sitting in the bleachers with me and I, uh, I looked right at her in the nice calm collective voice and I said, sweetheart, we have an emergency right now. I need you to listen very carefully. Follow me and if I run, you run. You keep up no matter what. She says, everything okay? I said, let's go now. I proceeded to stand up in a very fast, fast, uh, fast movement. I told Fluffy with me. He stayed with me. His lace dragging on the floor all the way to the coach, my my oldest daughter's coach. And I went to her and I said, "My wife was in an accident. I will contact you in the next couple minutes for further instructions on what to do with my daughter." I then run run full speed down the gymnasium because I was on the opposite side of the exit door, running full speed, my dog following, Fluffy Poodle following, the leash dangling, flapping around right behind him, my daughter going as, you know, following along. We get in the vehicle and safely get all the way to the area that my wife was at. I get there and I, uh, Instead of being mad or upset or anything, I had the great Lord with me and something told me just to be calm, cool, and collective and do what you're trained to do, Daniel. Do what you're trained and that's to be calm, address the situation, figure out what's going on and organize what needs to be organized so everybody is doing their mission to the best of their ability. So that's exactly what I did. I first approached and I uh, talked to the police officers and they said, Daniel, um, your wife is in the ambulance. Um, they proceeded to tell me some other things and they thought I was gonna go and like go after the guy who hit my wife and uh, in the vehicle accident, you know, um, but no. I said, no, it's okay, it was an accident. It was an accident. Anyways, this via, this, this, this isn't about this accident. This vehicle or this thing is about why I'm sitting in here today. Why I'm sitting in here today and I'm really, really nervous and 
I had to tell you about the accident because we didn't get home until extremely late and I'm tired. I'm really, really tired and so tired that I don't know if I'm going to do good when I go inside here. You see, when I go inside this building that's right behind me here in a few minutes, when I go inside this building, I have to do an interview. The first interview that I have ever, ever done since I have been out the military. And I have been out the military for more than 10 years. I have talked to a whole lot of companies and worked with a whole lot of people, but I never had to do a formal interview. Am I nervous? Absolutely. Am I scared? Oh, definitely. But what am I scared about? I am scared that I'm not going to get accepted. I'm nervous that I'm not going to say the right things. But realistically, if I don't get accepted, it's for a reason. God has a plan. And sometimes I just maybe need to not question it and just follow through with his wishes. It's very hard for not just myself, but all individuals. So when I go inside here, I'm going inside to be a, a candidate to the Chamber of Commerce, the Hardin County Chamber of Commerce 2024-2025 leadership class. If you haven't seen and guessed by now, for many years now, my style of videoing, my purpose in life has changed. I used to be a soldier and I'm not a soldier anymore. Then I was lost for a very long time, you know, figuring out my disabilities and how to be accepted and finding my right place in society. Over time, I learned that, you know, my right place in society and my purpose is my community. I really just need to take care of my community and my community takes care of me. <coughs> you see, I didn't understand. I didn't understand for a very long time what taking care of your community meant. Does that mean being something political? Does that mean, you know, owning your own business? Does that mean volunteering? Is, what, what does taking care of your community actually mean? And to each individual, it's different. It really is. It's different for each individual. And for me personally, I believe that taking care of my community is helping in any way, shape, and form that I can. And if that's Literally, you know, for example, the other day taking donuts to some, you know, first responders. If that's, you know, during the Christmas time that you've seen on a lot of our videos during Christmas Day, we sacrifice a little bit of Christmas Day and spend time with first responders, giving them some things that, you know, will brighten their day. If that's volunteering, you know, to speak to, you know, some young youth or going and be a part of a, a parade that we're actually going to be doing here in a few days. You know, it's all these little things that, you know, if you are a part of your community and helping out and helping it flourish, it will all come back to you. It's kind of like that circle of life, the circle of life that, you know, is all around us, you know, that, that, that circle of life that we need to keep the balance with. And that balance is very important in how we approach situations and deal with things that are in front of us. Sometimes I don't know if I articulate what I'm saying the correct way. But I really hope that you guys are gauging what I'm trying to translate to you. And I hope you, I hope each and every one of you understand that what, what's most important is following your dreams. Following your dreams and finding happiness and you will truly be happiness. So think about that. Follow your dreams and you'll be happiness or you'll be happy. Because in the long run, it's all about the pursuit of happiness. But understand that life, life, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, people all around the world who are watching our videos, life is a roller coaster. Life goes up, life goes down. But there's a saying in the Bible that I really, really love. And that saying is, this too shall pass. Hmm. This too shall pass. Huh. So you're telling me that when things are bad, it's going to pass. It's not going to last forever. Mm -hmm. I am saying that. But I'm also saying that when things are good, that's not going to last forever. And that will pass. Because again, life is up and down. It has twists and turns. Valleys, mountains. It has a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything that I believe helps shape us. And help us become a better person each and every day. Life 
doesn't happen for no reason. It doesn't. At least not what I believe. I believe that each and every one of us has a purpose. And sometimes we question that purpose. Uh, not sometimes. A lot of us, we question that purpose. And we do it constantly. I have figured out, instead of questioning it, do things. Do whatever you need to do necessary to find that happy. Excuse me, I'm burping to find that true happiness and to find your find your purpose in life. With that being said, I feel a little bit better. I'm still tired. I'm so tired. I need everybody to comment down below some thoughts and prayers. I need everybody to, everybody to subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far, you're a rock star. You seriously are. Everybody else, if you haven't made it this far, you're also a rock star. But know that, you know, we, we really cherish when you guys watch our videos to the fullest. So comment down below. Comment down below some encouraging words. Because you never know who might need them. You really never know who might need them. It might not be me. Or it might be me. It might be that next viewer who watches the video. The next person who scrolls through the comments could be anybody with that being said time to wrap up this video and go inside and knock this out fluffy come here boy come on come here until next time you guys know who this is this is daniel the big o with the fluffy poodle that's right mr fluffy bear and his green hair we'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode and we do apologize if our videos haven't been the best last couple days. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. Y'all have an amazing day. We'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode. Bye-bye.